Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on... 2007 Movie Incinerator. Now, as you can see, this guy transforms into an Osprey, which I think is completely awesome. I mean... There were Ospreys in the first scene of the 2007 movie, not kind of the old Spark uh, prologue, but I, I, like seeing how they were in the first movie's uh, first scene, I think that that's just completely awesome. No, uh, not only that, but this is just a cool uh, vehicle overall. I mean. Uh, let's just have a look at the vehicle. I mean, I uh, got this cool, uh, I think this is called an AWAC unit. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be on the underneath of the vehicle. Of, of, uh, you'll see why it's on the top scene. We've got these uh, dual uh, rotors. Although it's hard to see, we've got a Decepticon insignia here. Here we have the cockpit section. The underneath doesn't have any robot kibble underneath, which is amazing. So yeah, this is just a really cool vehicle mode. Now, the got the e like unit thing here, and normally if you uh, push on this, it's supposed to spin the rotors, but... Yeah, it doesn't work on my figure, unfortunately. I guess it, the mechanism just wears out after, like, 14 years. Uh, 13, 14 years. I, I don't know when this figure was released. If it was 2007 or 2008. I'm pretty sure it was 2008. But yeah, after, like, what, 13 years, it just... The mechanism just wears out, I suppose. But uh, the rotors can still spin by themselves, albeit uh, quite um, uh, rattly. Oh, that's not the right way. They, well, they click when you do so. Now you can see that this guy has a uh, bit of all spark blue on him because. This is part of the Os the Allspark Power subline that uh, figures such as Landmine and Stockade were a part of. And I have already reviewed those figures. How Landmine was my actually my previous review, so. Yeah. Well. I don't really have anything else to say, so. Um, Oh, there are actually some other Os well, Osprey Transformers in, in the movie line. Uh, the other two I can think of are Springer and Duststorm from Revenge of the Fallen. Although those two were recolors of each other and they were just Legend Class figures. So, yeah. I guess you could argue that Megatron from Animated could be an Osprey, but... Come on, he, he's definitely not an Osprey. I mean, he's a dual rotor helicopter, but he's more of a freelance design. I, w I would get him out for a, com a comparison, but I didn't think to, so... Yeah, I'm not going to. But, in my opinion, Animated Megatron is not really an Osprey. Sure, he's a he is a dual rotor helicopter, but he's more of a freelance design. Well, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode, so let's uh, transform this guy. Just uh, adjusting my camera so we can see him fully in robot mode. Well, let's start by folding up the landing gears. Let's come underneath and um, 
and tab the, the bomb sections. Rotate them around. So now it's like this. Take these panels, rotate them around. Rotate the legs 90 degrees. Take these bits and then uh, move them down. Like so, so the four wheel knee pads. Transform the legs how you would a G1 Prime figure. And thankfully, you don't have to worry about him falling over because. He's got these huge heel spurs. Technically, I mean these are his heels, but this can count as a a base for him to stand on as well. Yeah, his entire tail fin section counts as a base, I guess. With the entire cockpit section, well, if you press G underneath, it splits them. It splits the sides, so if we'll just transform that and. And it goes into there. So now I have that. Take the side rotors and move them down. Take the arms, get them down. Just transform them. And well, oh, once you have the arms adjusted, here we have Incinerator in his robot mode. And yep, he doesn't have any hands, or at least any real hands. The rotors are his hands. And that's actually qu quite a big complaint I have, but we'll get to that soon. For now, let's have a 360 of the figure. Again, like I said, he has this huge base with the tail fin. The the back, which is actually surprisingly simple for a, a movie figure, it's still mainly an, an Osprey taped to the back of a robot. Because, well, if you look at the back of other movie figures, I mean, they could still have the back of a vehicle on them, but it's still surprisingly quite complex. Like, maybe bits like split apart or. or, or Automorph, but this is still mainly an Osprey, so uh, yeah. I guess it's just to accommodate for the spinning rotor gimmick if it still worked. Let's have a look at the head, which is cool because he has a bit of light piping on his visor. Oh, and he's got a Decepticon insignia on his forehead, which is really cool. Uh, one complaint I have is um, this uh, this section comes off rather easily on my figure, so that's rather annoying. And it can sometimes be it can sometimes be a bit tricky to get it back on. So yeah, like, say I'm just trying to transform it back into its helicopter mode, and this can come off rather easily. And now that I'm on camera, it's going to be a Especially hard. Yeah, lining it up can be way harder than it looks, so I'm just going to pause here to get it back on. Okay, there we go. But yeah, that is a major complaint. This section can also come off, but it doesn't come off as easily as this half. I mean, this half can come off if you just breathe on it wrong. I mean, I've lost, I mean, there's been so many times where I've just tr tried to transform him and, and it just comes flying off. It's, it's so annoying. Another complaint I have is his hands. I mean, look at his hands. They're just rotors. I mean, come on. How is he supposed to masturbate with these? Oh, I mean, I'd understand if these could, like, fold into claws, but they can't. So he just has to have, uh, walk around with these weird-looking rotors for hands. 
I mean, there, are, there, there is this gimmick where if you move the arm somehow, it does uh, spin the rotor, but still, why couldn't he have actual hands? Like, maybe uh, this could have been like for some kind of attack gimmick, but then these could have like transformed, like, uh, maybe uh, go off to the side and then have the hands sticking out, but nope, these are his hands. <sighs> so, yeah, they, this means he could take up a lot of shelf space, if you're not careful. Let's just get to the uh, articulation before I... Uh, yeah. Y yeah, you see, I'm, I'm just getting so annoyed by the rotors that I'm running out that I'm... Stuttering with uh, anger, so let's just get to the articulation. Well, the head is actually on a ball joint, so it can go side to side and can look up and down uh, slightly. Well, the arms can go up and down, trying to be careful so this doesn't come flying off again. So, yeah, shoulder articulation. Well, it yeah, as I showed, this can spin, but oh yeah, he does have elbows. I forgot to show. Yeah, he does have elbows. Of course, he can T pose. Nothing, nothing at the waist. Legs can go forward, can't go back. So we've got knees. Feet can go down, and the feet can actually rotate. So yeah, not really as posable as other figures, but still suffices. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say. Complaints? Well, that and these. I mean... Seriously. Even though these are just two complaints, they're really major complaints. I mean, this is a really annoying, compl this is really annoying, and these, this is just a missed opportunity. These could, be, these could have been, like, really cool looking claws, or this could have been a cool attack gimmick that could have transformed into actual, like, uh, 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 uh these could have transformed into, like, R-mounted weapons, and then we could have had hands here. Sure, it would have uh, stopped the gimmick, but sometimes gimmicks are not the be or end all to a figure. So, I would have taken actual hands over a spinning rotor gimmick. Especially seeing how the spinning rotor gimmick doesn't e even work on my figure now. So, do I recommend this figure? Well, if you want to display it in its vehicle mode, then sure. But otherwise, only if you really want him. Hell, the only reason I wanted him was to complete my trio of the um, All Spark Power Advert also bot, uh, not also bot, but figures because. Well, it, it if you remember, uh, there was an ad uh, for the All Spark Power line that had. Uh, Stockade, Incinerator, and Landmine, and also a uh, Nightwatch uh, Prime, but I'm not getting that figure. That's the o only reason I wanted this figure. Just to have that trio of figures. I know, a bit ridiculous, but... Hey, I'm a ridiculous guy, so... Sometimes I, I want figures for the most ridiculous of reasons. But I want... Uh, I won't lie, I do really like the alternate mode, and if I did display figures in his alternate in their alternate modes, this would definitely be one figure I'd put in his alt mode instead. If anything, I, I I'm starting to consider w whether or not I should put him in his alt mode just so I've got some more shelf space. But eh. Well, this has been my review for Movie Incinerator. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.